What's going on everybody? I'm Mike. And I'm Jackie. And today we're going to talk about World of Warcraft Battle for Azeroth and what we think about it after the first two weeks and wow we have a lot to say about it and mm. um, I want to talk about the events leading up to the launch first because Jackie right now is level 117 as of the recording. I'm 120 and I've done a bit of Mythic Dungeons, so that's where we're at. But there, there's a lot of good from this expansion. Would you oh, agree, yeah. Jackie? Yeah, yeah. Um, so the thing I want to talk about, and I was telling Jackie about this, BFA is one of those games that is like exactly what I look for when it comes to like a video game. Um, Blizzard did an awesome job of pissing off the community with the burning of Teldrassil, <laughs> and it pissed off a lot of Horde and Alliance players alike. Um, that was obviously the intention. I, it, it wasn't like... They, they definitely wanted to do that on purpose. What do you think, Jackie? About yeah, that? It definitely. It's, um, it's a big move to do. Like, <laughs> it, it, it makes you question... It makes the Horde question their leader and the Alliance. <laughs> I mean, not really having more questions. They already hate the Horde. But. Yeah. <laughs> And the reason I know they did it on purpose, because I think the cutscene with Sarfang and Zappy Boy was supposed to represent what the Horde players are feeling after the burning of Teldris. So, like, I think they're supposed to be Sarfang and Zappy Boy. You know what I yeah, mean? Yeah, yeah. Like, they, they, they know that, you know, their loyalties still lie to the Horde, but Sylvanas pretty much brought them all in, all in with them at yeah. this point. So, you know. Um, and, and I actually think it's a fun storyline, the overall thing. Obviously not the uh, burning itself <laughs> being fun, but... The storyline itself, the tensions, you know, I have a lot of reason to hate Jaina Proudmoore. Um, does that make her wrong to hate the Horde? Not really. There's a lot I don't like about her from, like, my character's point of view, but, like, that's just from a Horde player. Mm -hmm. um, like, if, if I was looking at it from, like, an RP perspective, not to be really cheesy, but, like, my characters fought against the Iron Horde, the Legion, Garrosh, and she pretty much wants to kill my character, and he's, like, saved Azeroth multiple times just because I'm on the Horde. Um, that's a whole other video we could get into, and somebody's probably gonna tell me I'm really wrong about that. But back to BFA. Um, the zones, I think, are beautiful. They're beautiful. I haven't gone too much into Kul Tiris, but it looks incredible. <laughs> um, I love Zandalar. Zandalar's awesome. so good, and after the years and years of fell. And the dinosaurs. The years. Yeah, the dinosaurs. Dinotopia. I, I want one of those long neck dinosaurs. I, I hope. I think they are a mount, but it's like some ridiculous gold that sink. So. I really want to be, though. <laughs> I, I want to be Bumblebee. mount, too. <laughs> Cult Tyrus, and this is something. This, I wanted to get back to the story a little bit. Um, Blizzard, I, I've been playing through on my Light Forge Drain. He's only level 100, but I started Cult Tyrus, and I, I like the way they did the leveling, how they have the two campaigns. Um, and they're right, like, if you look at Xandalar from an, if you're an alliance player, you look at Xandalar, you probably look at the storyline from a different point of view, like, you don't think about what the Xandalari are going through, mm -hmm. vice versa with the Cult Tyrants. I, if I play Horde, I just see it as a land to conquer right now, you know what I mean? I don't really care about, like, uh, Lady Ashmane, what's going on there with Jaina, they're just another enemy to me. But it's weird going about seeing, like, the internal threats there from the Horde, like, the witch people, I have no oh, idea what's yeah, going yeah. on, I just go there, it's like, what the hell is this, you know? Mm -hmm. Um, and, and it's something that's very unique to BFA and it, it goes back to like how I was saying BFA is kind of an experience almost like and honestly I've never felt more obligated to PvP in my life. I don't, do you play with war mode on Jackie? No, I did once and then <laughs> got I ganked. I was trying to get stuff done. <laughs> I, I, I love it though, like if I'm going around Cult Tyrus and I see that gnome mage just yeah. chilling there, uh, you better bet he's going to meet the end of my Pindaren's axe. Well, I'm 120. <laughs> we'll, we'll go through Cult Tyrus and make the Alliance miserable. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> we love you Alliance viewers, especially the Pandaren. Um, but the, the thing I wanted to say about it, the leveling, the story is intriguing. I love the new cast of characters. I don't want to spoil like the actual story for people because it's so close. But um, if you are a WoW lore junkie, it's worth trying out. It's Definitely. I, I think the leveling, I loved Legion's leveling, and I think it's just more icing on the cake of how Legion did it, like the leveling system at least. I don't, I don't know about the overall story till the expansion's over, but for now it's pretty interesting. There's a few things I don't like. Um, like I said, I'm still not a fan of War Chief Sylvanas, but I'm rolling with it now, you know? I'm just gonna roll with it and have fun with the story because it's really not... She's not that bad, but well, she is bad. But she's not. <laughs> she's an interesting character. I think I'll try to say. I still don't find her really boring. Like you have to see what they do with her. Yeah. What direction they go? Because she seems like irredeemable, <laughs> but you never know. Yeah, and it's a lot of the stuff is like in character that she's been doing for her. I think. Um, I actually am curious to see how Anduin's gonna step up to the plate too. Because he's like, you know, the boy king. Okay, so this is funny. Jackie's like, like she just started playing in Legion, but the way, how did you describe Anduin to me? Like off, off, uh, audio. I forget what you said, uh, but it, you call him the boy king still? Is that thing? He's just a stupid boy. Is that? I don't remember. 
<laughs> like she, something like that. She said something like pretty much what all the NPCs are saying about like Andro. She didn't know about that part of the game yet too much. How they were calling him Boy <laughs> King, but I just thought it was really funny. But yeah, I mean he, I he needs that like character development yeah. I think right now to be as cool as Varian because right now you know he's I, I like that flaw of him though he's like not really confident in his leadership and I think in the battle for Undercity spoilers right now uh, the rest of the alliance kind of carried the fight more than Anduin I would say like Jaina showing up Illyria um, he had a lot of those veteran alliance people Gen Grey Main helping him out you know I don't yeah. really think he led it too much um, but that's just what I think I don't know what do you think about that Jackie I mean, after seeing Jaina come in on that boat and, like, <laughs> everybody get taken out before that, and then she came in and saved the day, and he was like, oh, it's a loss, and then she came in. <laughs> it's like, yeah, I think they did cover, uh, carry it. And now, over. do you think Jaina is going to die at the end of BFA? I don't think so. I don't I think so either. Unless, she, I mean, she doesn't really... I haven't played WoW until like two years, since two years ago. So I don't know how much she was in the game beforehand, but it seems like they're just now really bringing her into the spotlight. She she was a big part, and then I thought it was weird they had her sit out in Legion. I still didn't yeah. like that too much, considering, you know, Jane has always kind of been about the greater good. Um, I was very surprised that she couldn't at least help the Mage Order Hall or something, yeah. you know what I mean? <laughs> Um, I, I just thought that was kind of lame. Apparently she was fighting demons during Legion, but that I don't consider that enough help, considering <laughs> we were all going through hell in the Broken yeah. Isles, and that was where the real threat was, with Gul'dan, <laughs> Kill Jaden. Spending countless hours in Suramar. Yeah, countless <laughs> hours in Suramar, only for if you played Alliance, them to join the Horde. Anyway. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, no, I mean, overall, though, the, the storyline's been good, I'd say. The gameplay has been fucking awesome in BFA. Mm -hmm. It's so fun doing the world. It's just Legion 2.0, pretty much, but kind of truncated. Uh, the Pathfinder stuff's been fun. It doesn't seem like they're f relying or following mm -hmm. too much on their um, their follower missions. Relying on their follower missions. I'm happy about yeah, that, yeah. honestly. Yeah, and you can go in and just get some quick rep from your followers if you need to. That was good. I want to play mm -hmm. more mode so bad. <laughs> Try, oh, 120. When you get 120, yeah, we'll play yeah. some more mode. <laughs> Um, I think it's bullshit, and I still stand by this, guys. Um, I don't think allied races should be locked behind rep and, like, I know what they're I, trying I to do. I there, and I kind of appreciate it, but I wish it wasn't as... As tedious. tedious Make yeah. it, I, I think it should be complete the main storylines, like, without time-gating it, though, you know what I mean? Yeah. So, like, if you complete that Zandalar Forever achievement, you get the Zandalari Trolls. Because at that point, why would they really not join you after all you've been doing? Yeah. Or the, um... The Magar Orcs, you know, you complete the war campaign. That should just be it. I, mean, I know you, getting exalted is not too difficult with the honor bound. It's probably like about three weeks of dailies, you know, if you play yeah, casually. Yeah. Um, I know some people have already gotten it, but it took <laughs> about two weeks or even the hardcore to get it. So, I, I mean, it, it, that's a thing to me. Like, in the way that Blizzard's been marketing it, I don't want to sound whatever about it, but it's like, oh, play these new races, but it's like, oh, you have to unlock them. Yeah. <laughs> at, yeah. at least the Le I think they said the Legion ones are going to be unlocked soon. Sathrak, please. <laughs> Hopefully, I yeah. want Sethrak. No, no Volpera. No. She she hasn't done the quests in um, Voldoon yet with Volpera yet, so I'm not gonna say anything. But I've seen some of it. And it doesn't look. <laughs> I don't like Volpera. They, Volpera are disgusting. <laughs> Um, but so so far, guys. Um, oh, also the I guess we can touch upon the Warbringers Ajara video. Um, at this point, because it's probably common knowledge. Oh, yeah, yeah. Holy shit, this is totally not the uh, Old God expansion, huh? <laughs> yeah, this is totally... Guys, there's no Old Gods here. It's just the faction war. We're going to find out about Sylvanas, <laughs> Anduin. Um, I think they are gearing up Sylvan Death to be the counter to the Void. Mm -hmm. That's why Sylvanas has made War Chief, I think. I think that's a big fan theory going on. Makes sense, you think, because she's literally the face of Death. When you yeah, look. That's yeah. like the most Shadow the Hedgehog thing I ever said <laughs> in this channel. But no, it's true, though. Like, she's the, you know... I, I think that would make sense. That would be kind of a cool ending for her and at least give her some sort of... I, I, deep down, she's, like, evil. She's blatantly evil, but I think she deserves some kind of redemption. Yeah. Maybe. I mean, she burned down a tree filled with thousands. <laughs> yeah, I forgot people. about... I, I was thinking, like, rat help us kill the Lich King Sylvanas, so I said that. I'm going to take <laughs> that back. But uh, not a redemption, at least anti-hero, like, help us fight the Void in some way. Like, th there was, Vol'jin's not a stupid guy. He did that for a reason. Like, yeah, yeah. you know? Speaking he cares about the Horde more than anyone. Mm -hmm. He's got to be coming back in this expansion. Yeah. Oh, also, for sure. 
I have a feeling he might take Borm Sandi's place. I don't know about spoilers. I, I think so. I think he's going to. I mean, it's we've been going to spoilers on this anyway a little bit. <laughs> but yeah, I, I think that's going to be Vol'jin's big role, and I hope they keep him around in some way. Like, yeah, just yeah. I, just because it's. I mean, I, I think Ro- Rokan. He's shaping up to be the new leader, of the Dark mm. Spear. I think he's pretty cool. Yeah, yeah. He's all right. He's not as cool as Vol'jin though, but he, he reminds <laughs> me of him though. Yeah, yeah. There, there's one NPC. He's just like a random unnamed NPC, but I really like. Uh, he, when you click on him outside the PvP area, he's a Dark Spirit troll, and he's like, for Vol'jin! Like, he has, uh, like, his own audio. It's cool. I was like, yeah! yeah. Like, I like this guy. Really quick. It, mm-hmm. Game theory. What if What if you think um, uh, Sylvanas rose all the people that she killed in the tree? As it wouldn't own. surprise me if she did. I could see it. It would be cool. Because she needs more people. Yeah. So that's, like, a, that's a huge advantage right there. I, I want an allied race for, like, so you can play as an undead elf. I know there's a lot of elves in WoW. But I think that would be... I've always wanted to play, like, a Dark Ranger, like Sylvanas, like that. I always thought she looked cool. Um, confirmed on Bucks and Jackal, I'm like, just said Sylvanas <laughs> looks cool. No, but, like, I mean, since Warcraft 3, I've always wanted to play, like, an undead elf. I thought it was, like, weird that you couldn't just because... Yeah, they're, like, weird. demon hunters almost, you yeah. know? They could make it a hero class. I mean, I, I think right now we're shaping up to go into, like, an undead expansion next, like Lich King after this. Mm. I know it's, like, really early to get into spoilers <laughs> for that, but I just think it's going to get into undeath again. With with the stuff in Legion, with Bolvar, Four Dragon, and Sylvanas being to the limelight, it eh, makes a little, you know, I haven't finished Alliance yet, but I, there's something that happens that mm. makes me even believe that more. Yeah. But I don't want to say the character's name because it's a little bit too early. Do you think the Horde's going to separ- mm. split in two again? I don't think there's gonna. No, they said they're not gonna garrosh Sylvanas, okay. which is good. Um, I, I don't want musical war chiefs anymore, to tell you the truth. I mean, I'd be happy with Thrall <laughs> back at this point, but like, yeah. you know. Um, but anyway, overall thought to BFA guys, because it's been like an 11 minute rant video. If you haven't played it, I think you should go pick it up. It's it's a good time. It's fun. It's super fun. It's super fun, and I think your sixty dollars. I mean. If I had to give it a number score right now, I've gotten my money's worth. Um, that's kind of how I, I don't really like to give number scores, to be honest, but <laughs> I'm not going to give a number score, but it's I got my money's worth out of it. So as an RPG, BFA succeeds in many ways. Yeah. Um, as long as Blizzard upholds like the way they did Legion content, where they actually patch it regularly, this is going to shape up, I think, to be one of the best expansions that they've oh, done yet. Oh, easily, yeah. and that's and, and, and that's after Warlord. I almost lost my faith in my favorite game of all time when Warlords of Draenor was out. Like, Legion... It's, it's so funny you go from that shit to legion which is like my second favorite expansion and i and honestly guys i want to make a video where i pluck the good out of warlords because there were some good stuff in it but i don't want to rant about that it right look, now it looks nice it, it does <laughs> look nice and, and there, there's stuff that i can appreciate in it that they tried to do um but we'll make another video on that soon actually we'll like stuff that was good in warlords of draenor and i'll talk to you like this but <laughs> we'll see how people like the rant stuff like this but anyway guys thank you very much for watching and we'll see you next time <laughs> <laughs> oh, hello, I didn't see you there. This is me, Sylvanas, your war chief speaking, and I was just catching up on a few of my soaps. I was just wondering if Rolando would get with Jessica, but I guess I'll have to wait till next episode. Anyways, thank you for watching this episode of Box and Jackalope, and please hit the subscribe button. It would really help the horde out. Ah. Uh, Okay, bye. <laughs>